Now then, just slipped out for a minute from the biggest bonanza of sporting skill I've ever clapped eyes on. Down here at the Queen's Hotel in Leeds, we've got 60-odd of the best players I've ever seen in my life. None of your Charlton and your Jeffrey boycotts, mind you. This bunch of lads are kings at those sports you get up and down the land in every pub. There's one fellow who's shown up from Scunthorpe in a ten-gallon Stetson hat, and he's floating coins around in the best game of shove opening I've ever happened across. And there's two of the cockiest blokes, students playing table football, as though they were Giles and Bremner. So let's get cracking. We got those 60 in there. The first prize in each game is 100 quid. That's for shove apnea, bar billiards, skittles, table football and darts. And remember, all you lots out at Trent, this is real darts on a Yorkshire board. No trebles, no fluky shots, just a hell of a lot of skill. 1939 scored. Look out for this character, John Walker of Hull. Third in the news of the World Championship last year. He's after 48 to finish. He's the double. Oh, that's the double eights. He's in the same bed. And it's there! Same shot. Oh, unbelievable. And the finishing power, the finishing power of John Walker really is too much to be believed. Bet you didn't know that the North's best skittle players come from Barnsley, like this young one here. And his skittle play has deteriorated slightly in the last minute or so. Here he goes. That's a better one. That's a flopper. That is a flopper. All nine down. And that's... Dennis Jones looks philosophical in the background because that could be an important throw. Let's see what he can do now. Two more throws he has. And very unlucky. Very unlucky. Eight this time. And that's 18. And that's good for... Phillips Senior hammering the older generation there. A right young upstart. But note on them two students I were on about. Eric Crane and Steve Kelly. They seem to spend their whole time playing table football and they reckon they've never ever been beaten in a serious competition. degree the other having failed his degree is now working for a turf accountant in Leeds see that a cracking goal now try this for size you've probably seen bar billiards snooker with bunkers and there is some very nifty kill work going on in there I'll tell you three eight three eight into earnest riders back on again and he dropped a red in the 50 hole which is worth a hundred and he's a chance of using the red as a cue ball. And again, it's double. No, that's just a single 50. He's going to, I think, in off red. Oh, and the black skittle's over. That wipes out his total score. All his score goes for a burden right from the beginning. And finally, to another game with a really delicate touch. Buffalo Bill from Scunthorpe to stop top shove eight player. A star of the sliding small change. So is Alan Brown, star of the Durham Shove Aitney League. I've seen him play before, and Alan Brown is, is really rubbing it in now. He's just played a very fine shot. One, two, three, four. That's a very, very, very fine shot. Four coins back. And look out for them Durham Mafia lads. I hear they're just a bit good at nudging them in. Let's cook a kick off with the darts. We've got 16 of the best players in the north here. We're down to the last eight, and it's Charlie Ellis of Bradford on the board. He's already wiped the floor with Maurice Reed from Hull, who's a real top oiler. Now Charlie's up against Les Mills from Hull, who I'm a Jack McDonald from Wumwell this morning. 501, straight off, finish on the double. Dave Lanning doing the talking. Here Bradford darts. Here's the first to throw in this final quarter final. Here he goes, into 20. Charles Ellis, one of the most professional and dedicated dart players in the North. 60, bang. He plays for the George in Clackheaton Road. And this is Les Mills, one of the great figures in darts in Britain and in the North. Former News of the World Champion in 1965. It's from Hull. 41, they're settling down. They're finding their feet. They're finding their range. They're finding their length here now. This is Ellis. Cool, he's calm, he plays for up to £250 a game, and for that sort of money, you've got to be calm. 
but Mills is nobody's fool. He's been around, he's seen the game, 60. and he's as steady as a rock. 